Hey, 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 how's it going, everybody? Uh, I'm Mike. I'm going to show you how to send Zcash to a great number of people rather quickly using a couple different tools. Why might you want to do that, you might ask. Um, it could be that you're, I don't know, maybe you're an artist and you want to choose anonymity and you think that maybe even being anonymous is kind of like a cooler angle and it's like, a, it, it's like better for your art. Maybe you want to market. And you understand that giving someone something before the ask is a powerful gesture. Maybe you want to just load test the network and send a bunch of transactions. I don't know. You got your reasons. I'm going to show you how. So there's a couple things we need. And the first thing is a command line interface. Here we go. I'm going to use the command line light client from zekwallet.co. It's the same as the light client, right? The zekwallet light client. It just runs from the command line. It's going to be nicer for our purposes. So I'm using the command line like client here. Fantastic. Uh, I'm running it from Git Bash in Windows. We'll talk about why in a second. Um, and we also need a list of addresses to send Zcash to, which thankfully there's an app for. It is called Zek Pages. I made it. Recently, I filtered out everyone who doesn't have a great proof. So right now you can under you can uh, trust the users with proof decently well to at least match to the Twitter account that's associated, which is cool. So this is just a list of users who have their Z addresses listed publicly. And that's great because uh, you can't find Z addresses many other great ways. If you look for ZS on Twitter, it's like K-pop, of course. Um, so we've got our 67 results. I'm going to use this nice button and copy all the Z addresses to my clipboard. Fantastic. I now have a command line interface and a bunch of Z addresses. I'm going to take those to assemble the command to send them over to another tool I've made at zekmailer.com. There's probably a lot of better tools. You could make a tool that works better for you. It's not super hard. But here at zekmailer, you can dump in your comma-separated Z addresses. You can send a certain amount. This is in normal zek. And let's say this is take two. I still hope your day is going well. Please, please leave a message on the Zek Pages board. Cool. And now I'm going to click Generate Light Wallet Send Command. Wham, we get a bunch of text. We copy it to our clipboard, and you'll see this is a command. We're going to send it from our command line interface. It's going to run this program, and then it's going to send this command, which is formatted for you. But, um, you know, it never hurts to double check. So I'm going to send that here. Wham. We do a big paste. We send it. And this will build really quickly because this wallet is already uh, synced. Things should be fine. Uh, so let's talk about some things while that builds. That'll take a hot minute. So I'm using Git Bash here on Windows. Windows command lines have a character limit of like 9,000 for like no good reason, I don't think. Um, so if you're not on Linux or Apple, if you're stuck on Windows, I'd recommend just grabbing Git Bash and using that. Or Windows Subsystem for Linux is probably fine too. I haven't used that. Uh, let's talk about the metadata leakage here. Uh, specific to this transaction, the biggest thing going on here that you should be aware of in terms of metadata leakage this is what it's going to look like. This is an identical transaction in a block explorer. This is Zekmate. It's a good block explorer. And we see it's good. It's good. We don't see any of the details in terms of balances or where things were sent. But we do see 63 shielded outputs. So you can actually tell that I sent this to all those different people. 67 results. Interesting. I wonder uh, who got cut off. Maybe there is a limit to shielded join splits. That's neither here nor there. So while this grinds away, I'm asking people to post to the board. This is a Zcash powered message board. And that's the other issue of metadata I wanted to talk about, which is in general, the addresses I'm sending to and the amounts should be hidden because the wallet right here, this wallet that's building this transaction is actually this message board wallet. It has a public view key. So if you use this view key, you can see this transaction that I'm building and sending. Um, 
just something to note because I mean uh in this case there's a lot of metadata leakage right you can see all the addresses I sent to the amount I sent to them you can see all the addresses that have sent to this address and it's because I've chosen to uh, to expose that information but that's an, that's a necessary caveat um, in general if you or someone who hasn't shared their view key sends this giga transaction this is what's gonna show up so there will be a hint as to how many people got uh, got money sent to them that said who they are their addresses and how much they got sent is all gonna be hidden which is grand um, is this done no this will take another hot minute all right nice um I just uh, I paused that while this finished so here you go transactions done we get the ID we can go see if it's here in the block Explorer yet here it is it's unconfirmed and as we can see it has all those outputs so we've just done it we've just messaged a lot of people we just sent a lot of people a dime um, I hope you enjoyed I know I did. I always get kind of a rush. It feels wild, and it feels like it's only the beginning of something big. Have a tremendous day. Goodbye.